Two police chiefs in two communities just a bridge apart gone in the same weekend. Aliquippa and Ambridge are remembering their police chiefs in as big a farewell as possible during the coronavirus lockdown. Nicole Ford's live outside the Ambridge Police Department with a look at the impact these two men had in Beaver County. Nicole. Well, Ken, flags across Beaver County are waving at half mast today for those police chiefs from near and far. First responders filled the streets to give a proper goodbye to these two police chiefs during a pandemic. A river may separate these two communities. It's tough uh, for, for both over there and over here. But their loss is one in the same. They were close rivals, but they were also uh, solid supporters of each other. For the first time in history, an American flag waved above an Aliquippa fire truck and an Ambridge truck twice in one day. Two funerals for two police chiefs. And this may be the only form of grieving that we have because of funerals and viewings have been put on hold. This may be our only opportunity to show our respect for a fallen brother and for both of those officers who were colleagues. Uh, and personal friends and professional friends as well. First responders lit up Beaver County through the rain to bring Aliquippa Police Chief Rob Seelock home for a final time. He always had a good smile. He lived for the city of Aliquippa. He served the city of Aliquippa well, wonderful family, and he was loved by the city. Seelock passed away on Saturday after suffering a medical emergency on the job in March. One day later, Ambridge Police Chief Mark Ramudis passed away from complications of COVID-19. He, he was a big advocate for inter, interaction with the public and very dedicated and very knowledgeable in his job. So together, two communities gave a final salute from each side of the river. Now, when each family was underneath that flag today, whether it was in Ambridge or Aliquippa, the end of watch was read out over the radio, and you could just tell how emotional some of these officers were as they had to do this twice. Reporting live from Beaver County, Nicole Ford, KDK News.